Hi, my name is Jonathan. I am a mechanical engineer and in this video I will briefly present about the project in the title of this video. For the project execution, the softwares and tools with my own license from manufacturers and partner engineering companies were used. For 2D and 3D technical drawings, I usually use software CAD as shown here. As you can see, it makes it easy for the workers when they are building the line. The intention of 3D drawings is to make easier at the time of installing components and checking interference in the system, preventing inaccuracies in the work. To streamline the drawing procedures, a plugin was also used to optimize the drawing showing the technical characteristics of material. These also help me giving answers of the sizing and calculations for the hydraulic systems. The links are traceable. You can find it easily. All lines are traceable with details and indications. The heating plant is also traceable, as we can see here. In this case, the positions of the drawings and the indication of material are made to make easier in the moment of assembly. Flow charts are also made in some situations. We have the solar panels, the heating water, the heating plant, and here the heater exchange, the boiler, steam line, hot water system, the return hot water system. Each component here has his own control, mainly controlled by computer. I'm going to show you some examples how to be sure that this line will attend the requirements of the pipe sizing. It helps me giving me the answers for each line about the pressures and the characteristics of the water in the system. To check the results, an automated calculation spreadsheet was also created within the current standard to guarantee the veracity of the results. It gives me the pipeline diameter and I can check if it's attending or not attending the situation for the calculation. I can check and find the best results according to the answers given by the spreadsheet. Using this spreadsheet, I can also get the diameter for the return line and also according to the heat loss permitted I can find the pump appropriated for the system. At the end using this plugin it is possible to automatically generate the precise list of material without wastes as shown here. With just a couple of clicks I can get the precise list. It can also generate a spreadsheet with all information. I just select the drawings and it will give you the spreadsheet with all material. Of course this is in Portuguese but it can be changed for English or any other language. Thinking about the quality of the materials, I usually make some samples to check the results. Just for the sake of this the example, the selection of the supports for the pipelines is shown here. This is one of the supports that I will give you an example. In this line we have a, a couple of supports. I usually look one by one to check if there are anything out of my ideas. The calculation are made in dynamic spreadsheets to verify each section. Actually, I usually check step by step each section of the line. And after that, it will give me the highest load from the pipeline. And using this highest load, I calculate the proper material for the support. The calculations I performed according to the standards for pipe support, but for checking the result, the F2 is one of the best and excellent softwares for two-dimensional structural and generation of free body diagrams. It gives me the actual force, it will give the shear force, the bending moment, and also the formation. In some situations, this software would not be enough and uh, in this case the ANSYS software can be used to run simulations. In this software we can verify each part giving to us the equivalent stress, total deformation, shear stress. Of course we can change the scale here to make this more visible as we can see here. In the total deformation we have less than one millimeter. In a real situation we, we don't need to use this software for those analyses here because in experience we can know that this material will support these loads. But sometimes it can be very useful to run some simulations. For the thermal insulation of the pipeline, the current standards of calculation are used and the results can be sent to the client in a document. As you can see, all numbers and figures are presented to the client with standards international and according to the region. The client can see 
the numbers about the weather condition charts with values for 10 years charts for comparison about materials for insulation. However, the ArmWing software is used to check the economic thickness insulation material for pipes, as shown here. You need just to input the information. I'll just give a roughly information here, just as an idea about how it works. To get the results, I will put some aleatory information here. I can insert surface, ambient temperature, line temperature. And there you go. It will give the economic millimeter for the thickness. Knowing this, we can go to the next step. To streamline procedures calculation, spreadsheets were created with VBA resource to guarantee the reliability of results. Just an observation, the spreadsheets were made in Portuguese, but it can be translated for any language. As you can see, it's a dynamic spreadsheet and we can we can have the data from all calculation here. We can find all results, all information about material, head loss for each fittings and other information. Going back here, we can see the calculation spreadsheet for solar system is prepared and updated in accordance with current regulations. Obtaining results calculated according to the tables from NASA and other reliable companies. And we can have here daily solar radiation information and also climatic conditions for each region. In this case, we are shown here information about the states from Brazil, giving the standards and the quantity of solar panels. The steam and boiler sizing in spreadsheet was also prepared within the standards of this discipline, obtaining the results of the steam production required for each case. Obviously, the boiler manufacturers are consulted to obtain a commercial result. As we can see here, we have all information about the hot water and the, the steam needed for this amount of water. As we can see, the table gives to us automatically all information needed for the selection of the boiler and all steam line. Spreadsheets are also made for the calculation of the economic expense of vessels. We can just insert the information from the line and we can obtain the results for the required expense of vessels. For sizing of pumps, it's also used the CAD plugin for the purpose of the calculation as shown here. To verify the line and to get the results, we just need to insert properly the, the information required. Just to gain time, I had inserted already and I will just get the results. It will give me a list of pumps that I can use in this system. At the end, I can have the results also in a document with the pump curve. Automatic spreadsheets are prepared to check calculation and the appropriated head losses, comparing with the manufacturer's pump curves according to the updated standards. Here we can fill up all fittings and it will give me automatically all results according to standards and calculation, such as Hazen Williams. At the end, I can get all pumps and its information. I also can see if it's suitable or not for my system according to the head losses and NPSH available and NPSH required. Using this spreadsheet is also possible to select the correct safety valve or the PRV valve. Actually, you can just insert the pressure from the line and it will give the results. You can insert the diameters available. You can also choose the connection for the system. It will show if the, the pressure is available or not and you can have and other types. To follow the activities of the projects, automated control spreadsheets with Gantt were used to the follow-up. These spreadsheets were also made in Portuguese, but it can be translated to any language as well. Here we can go to the tasks, step by step, controlling, it was complete or not. We can go back and to make easy, we can check the Gantt. All material information is presented in the form of document. This document informs the recommended materials for the project. We can see that we have all reference from the drawings we have used and also the standards explaining about this, the function of the circuit. We can see all information in this, in this paper. The dimensioning information are also presented in a document. Here we have all memory of the calculation. We have here is in Portuguese, but we can, we can make this in English as well or in any language. All information required for the project. At the end, the material list 
is also delivered in a dynamic spreadsheet with automatic generation of the installation and fighting item. It is made to avoid errors in the quantities described. Here we can see the total material for the hydraulic system. With this list they can make the budget. Over here we have the paintings. We can choose the requirements here. We can choose the here we can have the data for the painting. All information here and we'll give an automatic list. We can go to the general list to get the general list for paintings and the quantities without wasting. Also, we have the data for the supports automatic as well. We can have the insulation. Actually, we can include more materials here. We have 13, for instance, but we can include more here. After creating the new fields, we can fill the information, the diameter of the pipe, the thickness of the insulation, as we got here, 10 millimeter, and we can insert the insulation name. Here we can insert the length of the pipe, the number of elbows, 45 and 90 degrees, just as example, and it will give the material amount needed for the insulation. We can go there in the general list and we can see that we have 14 items now. We just include the supplier name or any other and that's gone. When finished, all project information is organized into a file and delivered electronically. The delivery of the projects is agreed with the client according to the phases of each project. In this video, I was just describing one of the current projects. I can also show you some other examples, such as elevators for compact loads and its documents, VAC systems, fire dumpers, letters and its documents with all calculation different systems smart solutions 5s improvements in sectors maintenance operation plan and control and many others upon request if needed i also have partner companies to offer services in the construction field architecture engineering in different areas manufacturing and equipment assembly services. Thank you for watching this video.